So you want to fix your Stadia lag. That's why I'm here. Um, not any videos out there that I found showing you how to fix your lag. Well, I'm going to show you what I did real fast. Um, first off, I went ahead and added a new a new person on my Google Chrome. So just. Right here, add. Now I have this fish chew. So that was step one. Then when I went to Stadia, I went and I clicked this little plus sign right here. And that downloaded Stadia onto my desktop. Which was great, still lagging, still did a bunch of stuff. For instance, went over to Chrome and Flags and I switched these things over to Enabled and Disabled. Runs Network Service and Process, Experimental Productivity Features and WinRT Geolocation Implementation. WinRT Geolocation Implementation. Now I switched these things around. They did help somewhat but what really did it here was after I downloaded that into my browser and opened it up, I went ahead and got this uh, desktop shortcut, and then we just went old school here. We went to properties, we went ahead and we made it to where it uh, runs as an administrator, and I put this thing on Windows 7 and applied that, and that's been it's been perfect. I don't know why people complain about lag now, because Google Stadia is basically good to go from there. Um, another thing that I tried that you might want to try, it didn't really help out me all that much, but it might help you out a little more, is uh, changing your adapter options. Going over here, properties. Uh, go to your IPv4 settings, go to properties and 8888 Google secondary 8884 should be good to go you should be good to go after that um, yeah but I've been getting the, the smallest amount the understandable amount of lag which it's hardly noticeable to me now it's you can race you can play video games and it's, it's all like it's right there. I'm not getting a bunch of visual misrenderings or unrendering objects like I was in the beginning. In the beginning I was getting kicked off, but those three things, um, those will help you get rid of your lag. So again, uh, that is uh, when you first go in, just make a new account. Don't worry about going incognito, getting rid of all your extensions or anything like that. Just make a new account for your Stadia. All right, just make a new Google Chrome account. It'll make everything. There's no extensions. There's no cache of history. There's no nothing. There's no syncing to other accounts. It's just boom, bam, boom, clean. Then go to your Stadia home, download it, put it on your desktop. Once it's on your desktop, change the properties around, run it as an administrator, maybe make it compatible for Windows 7. I'm on like a 12 year old PC here and it's running perfectly for me. Alright? And then like I said, maybe change your adapter settings and you should have a, a good experience. Like, yeah, run it. You should have a good experience on this now. I mean, it's it runs fine for me. I don't... Everybody's saying this is trash. Yeah, it kind of sucks that, you know, doesn't <laughs> these are the only games I get to play. And there's really nothing in the store to buy either. But, you know, I think that the future is here. If they get some in-game exclusives, if they get some uh, just exclusives in general, but, like, like, if they were to take Towerfall, you know, if they were just to take that game and make it multiplayer and stick it on here just so I can be like, dude, the only way to play multiplayer on Towerfall is to be on here, you know, get on here. It's free. 
more people would join me. Like, oh, what's that? You know what I mean? Or just anything like that's just an exclusive for them. It could be the oldest game ever, but it's exclusive to Stadia because it's multiplayer. Or exclusive to Stadia because there's a hundred more new worlds. Or I don't know what the game is, but they got to do something, or this thing's gonna tank fast. Uh, but I'm having a good experience on it. I mean, as far as the gameplay, there is no noticeable lag anymore. So, do those things. I'm out. Vishu, out. Peace. End of recording. Bye.